Pinfall Short Story Pinfall is an unpublished short story slash film treatment by Stephen King. It was originally written by King as a segment for the 1987 anthology film Creepshow 2, with screenplay writer George A. Romero developing it into a script, but was never filmed. In 2016, a comic book adaption of the story was produced by Jason Mayo. Authorship It is unclear to what extent Pinfall was authored by Stephen King or George A. Romero. The 2006 work Stephen King, uncollected, unpublished states. The screenplay version is credited solely to Romero, though Stephen Spignesi suggests King's special touch is clearly evident in the stage directions in the script. In a 1991 interview with Cinefantastique, Romero stated, I wrote it from a couple of pages that King had sketched out. King himself stated in an interview that the notes I sent Romero were pretty detailed, and they even had some dialogue, but Romero really carried it off, and that Romero sent me the script, and I suggested some cuts and some changes, and King describes Pinfall as a Jack Davis kind of story inspired by the notorious EC Comics strip foul play. Plot Summary this summary relates to the version of the story appearing in the Creepshow 2 screenplay. The story centers on two rival teams in a ten-pin bowling league, the white-collar Riggy men led by the self-important Reggie Rambo, who takes bowling extremely seriously, and the blue-collar bad news boars led by the easy-going Chooch Mandolino, who prioritizes having a good time with his friends. As the story begins, the two teams are bowling in adjacent lanes on team night at the Big Ten Lanes bowling alley in every town, with the Riggy men on track to win the league. After an 82-year, old bowling aficionado named J. Frederick MacDougall incurs Reggie's ire by breaking his concentration, Chooch invites MacDougall to become an honorary member of the Bad News Boars for the night. While attempting to make a 7-10 split, MacDougall suffers a cardiac seizure, resulting in a freak accident that sees him fatally crushed by the pinsetter. Following MacDougall's death, it is revealed that he was the world's tenth wealthiest man and that he has bequeathed $5 million after tax to the Big Ten Lanes team with the highest score at the end of the season. After the bad news bores begin narrowing the Riggy men's lead, the Riggy men resort to sabotaging their opponent's dodge van by loosening bolts on the axle, resulting in the bad news boars being killed when the van carries off a cliff and explodes. Following the incident, which is deemed a tragic accident, the Riggy men claim they will buy each of the bad news boars special headstones to commemorate them if they win the league. While the Riggy men are practicing late one night in the closed Big Ten lanes, the lights are switched off and they are confronted by the zombified bad news boars. The Riggy men are gruesomely killed, with one member throttled, another electrified by being thrown into an arcade game, and another being impaled on a hot dog rotisserie and subsequently melted. Reggie himself is killed by having holes drilled into his skull with a ball driller. The story ends with the bad news boars joined by the similarly zombified Mac. Dougal drinking blood beers and bowling using the Riggy men's arms and legs as pins and Reggie's head as a ball. Reception Reviewing the unfilmed screenplay in 2014, John Squires described Pinfall as a fun tale. Stephen J. Spignesi described it as a fun piece and an honest tribute to EC Comics. Adaptations Pinfall was intended to be filmed as a segment for the 1987 anthology film Creepshow 2. The treatment by Stephen King was adapted into a script by screenplay writer George A. Romero, but the segment was dropped at the last minute, reportedly due to concerns that the special effects required would push the production over budget. In a 1991 interview, Romero stated it was my total favorite. It'll probably turn up. The production ultimately did not proceed. In 2016, Pinfall was adapted into an EC Comics-style comic book by artist Jason Mayo, which was packaged with a limited-edition Blu-ray release of Creepshow 2 by Arrow Video, with 3,000 units released.